Gas First is brought to you by Fayette Heating and Air. Hi, everybody. We're watching the potential for severe thunderstorms and flooding rains across the entire region. Flood watch is out for just about the entire Commonwealth. That'll take us through roughly the next 24 hours. That'll go until tomorrow evening. Thunderstorms now beginning to flare up on your Fox radar across the bluegrass area. Thunderstorms are beginning to increase to the southwest of Franklin County. This is rolling its way to the east northeast. That's a very strong thunderstorm that is developing here on the Anderson Franklin County line that is working its way towards southern other parts of Franklin County, north of the Midway area. We'll keep an eye on that. Notice how it's connecting to thunderstorms that are beginning to go up here west of E-Town between E-Town and Owensboro. Atmosphere is primed for some stronger storms as the overnight wears on that can dump too much rain. So we're watching the potential for severe thunderstorms and flooding rains as we end 21 and kick off 22. We'll have all that and more straight ahead on the Friday night New Year's Eve edition of the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. The festivities for New Year's Eve are currently underway. How people are safely ringing in the new year despite the COVID spike. A shooting that killed a Lexington teenager is the latest in a string of murders that has reached an all-time high in the city. And the Big Blue Nation has arrived in Orlando for the Verbo Citrus Bowl. How fans are gearing up to support the Cats in the upcoming bowl game. The Fox 56 10 o'clock news starts now. Good evening to you. One year ago today, New Year's Eve parties were mostly non-existent due to the pandemic. This year they're happening, but another surge is here. Many businesses are moving forward with celebrations, but Governor Bashir has asked Kentuckians to scale back to help prevent the spread of COVID. Chad Hedrick is at Mere Twin Brewing, where they made some adjustments to their New Year's Eve party. He joins us live there now. Chad? Marvin and Kristen, good evening to you. Yeah, this time last year, Mirror Twin was not having any sort of New Year's celebration because of a surge in COVID-19 cases happening at the time. 2021 ending just the same way now, but they are still having a New Year's Eve celebration. They've had to make some adjustments. They've got tents behind me, so that way everyone can kind of space out and still have fun, hoping that 2022 brings a little bit more normalcy. It's a moment to celebrate the start of a new year and attempt normalcy, except COVID-19 is yet again crashing the party. We were cautious the whole time when planning uh, our New Year's Eve because we just didn't know what was going to happen. At Mirror Twin Brewing, it's a step back to how they're used to ringing in the new year, but not the full-on celebration of years past. You know, last year we didn't do anything for New Year's. The year before that, we did a casino night, was, which was extremely successful. This year is scaled down. Tickets were sold in advance, so Mirror Twin could have a headcount and plan for spacing. I think that we've done the best job we can to keep patrons safe, but also give them kind of that sense of normalcy that I truly believe everyone's craving. At the Grand Reserve, a celebration of unity after so much time apart, telling Omicron they're not letting it ruin the fun. We wanted to focus on unity because we had so much separation and isolation due to the pandemic. We still do in some cases, and so uh, we're trying to be mindful of that. But also, you know, we want this to be an opportunity for people that are healthy, that, you know, are not sick and anything, and want to come together and have fun, bring in the new year. Long-awaited returns to celebrating the new year and hoping for a pre-pandemic life in 2022. 2020 was a hard year. 2021 was hard, but there were some, you know, some good moments, a lot of good moments. And we're really hoping that 2022 will be even better. And on Monday, Governor Bashir was encouraging people to have their celebrations outside as much as possible. Again, that's something that Mirror Twin is doing here tonight. And this morning in a tweet, Lexington, Mayor Linda Gordon was also encouraging everyone to play it safe, try to keep a distance, and also wear a mask if you were going to be indoors. Live in Lexington, Chad Hedrick for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Chad, thank you. Because of the holiday, the state did not have an update on cases today. Those will resume on Monday. A tragic addition to the record-long list of Lexington homicide victims this year. Lexington police say a 14-year-old was shot and killed last night. It happened on Betsy Lane in a mobile home park off Price Road. The coroner says the 14-year-old, Larry Perez Morales, was shot multiple times. His death marks the city's 37th homicide of the year. Tonight, Garrett Weimer has the latest on last night's deadly shooting and how experts say it fits into a trend. 
on Betsy Lane, bullet holes scar multiple cars along the street from the shooting here that killed 14-year-old Larry Perez Morales. One neighbor told me she heard as many as nine or ten gunshots and believes Morales may have been trying to take cover behind a parked camper. Now, a teddy bear marks a memorial beside the bloody grass. The teenager's death on Betsy Lane is Lexington's 37th homicide of the year, a tragic addition to the city's already record high number police are investigating. Lexington isn't alone. The overriding factor is this is a record year. This is a record year. Lexington native Mark Bryant runs the Gun Violence Archive. Nationwide, he says the 20,000 plus killed and 40,000 plus injured in shootings in 2021 are numbers not seen since well before the Gun Violence Archive started tracking shooting statistics almost nine years ago. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just constant. And, and the question becomes, where do these kids get the guns? And that's, that's the question that we keep wanting to ask and nobody seems to want to answer. Of Lexington's 37 homicides, all but one were deadly shootings. Eight victims were 18 or younger. Two, including Larry Perez Morales, as young as 14 years old. With this impromptu memorial on Betsy Lane and a growing one on nearby Price Road for 17-year-old Sergio Viratos shot and killed in October, you don't need to tell these neighbors the cost of gun violence. They already drive past a reminder every day. Garrett Weimer, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Police have not released any information about what led up to last night's shooting or the gunman. No arrests have been made. A Lexington man is recovering after being shot last night. Police found the victim just before 3 a.m. on Old Todd's Road. The man was taken to the hospital. He is expected to be okay. Police have not released any details on a possible shooter. A high school baseball coach in Nicholasville has died. East Jessamine High School says coach Aaron Thompson died last night from COVID-related complications. He was in the hospital for several weeks. The school held a vigil to show support to his family last week, and tonight they lit up their field in memory of the late coach. Several other schools turned on their lights as well. Governor Bashir says Omicron is spreading quickly throughout the Commonwealth, and for restaurants, rising cases bring more uncertainty. Chelsea Jones talked to business owners about their concerns. Restaurant owners are concerned about the Omicron variant. That it's ramping up and that some people may decide not to go out. And, we, and I would understand that, to be honest. So we're just going to keep our fingers crossed that it gets, you know, people are vaccinated. Debbie Long says her restaurant, Dudley's on Short, took a hard hit at the start of the pandemic. She's hoping current safety protocols in place will be enough to keep business operating. She encourages her staff to get vaccinated. Those who aren't must wear a mask. Once we get kind of to the beginning of the next year, I think we'll probably have to ask for them to be tested. Although some restaurants were able to recoup their financial losses from last year, owners say they are still facing challenges. We were sort of anxious about January, February, and March. Now we're not sure what uh, business will be like. It's normally not the busiest month. Next door, Carlo Vacareza opened his restaurant, Frank and Dino's, three months ago. He thought the pandemic was winding down. All of a sudden, just uh, out of nowhere, just uh, he became uh, worse than ever. Besides telling his staff to get vaccinated and keeping customers six feet apart, Vacareza says there's not much else he can do. But if COVID cases keep rising, he anticipates a setback. If it continue and it get worse and worse and worse, I think the government is going to have to do something. And if the shutdown again, the state 25, 50 or 75 percent capacity, of course, is going to affect us. In Lexington, Chelsea Jones for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. A new name is in the rafters inside Rupp Arena. Today, the University of Kentucky retired former head coach Tubby Smith's jersey. Smith coached UK to the 1998 National Championship and several SEC titles. He was the head coach of the Wildcats for 10 years, from 1997 to 2007. The honor came as the Cats took on High Point, the team Smith now coaches and where he graduated from. Lee Kay will have more on the game later in sports. Meanwhile, the countdown is in the final hours. The football cats will take on the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Citrus Bowl tomorrow. The Big Blue Nation greeted the cats during a pep rally in Orlando earlier today. Brian Milam has predictions from fans. 
as we approach the midnight hour and a new year will be upon us. Earlier tonight, it was a lot louder. The voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach, was the MC for the pep rally, joined by Mark Stoops, who thanked the fans for coming out. Thank you very much, PBN. Thank you again. Thank you so much. We've been longtime UK football fans, and we really appreciate what they're doing for us. Now it's time for us to support them and give back to them for all they've done. We are UK! It is a house divided, but for most of the time, we get along well. It's only divided now, because when he's in Kentucky, he cheers for Kentucky. And they even gave us their predictions. It's going to be 34-24, Cats. Iowa wins because of the strength of the coaching staff. He's been there too long. They win by six points. My man, Tony, there's always got to be one who picks against Kentucky. In Orlando, I'm Brian Milam for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Kickoff for the game is at 1 o'clock. You can find it on ABC. People all over are saddened by the news of Betty White's death, just days away from her 100th birthday. How people are remembering her amazing career and kindness when we return. It's going to be bumpy on this New Year's Eve, and especially into New Year's Day, tracking a severe thunderstorm threat and a flood threat after the break. Tonight's first 10 minutes at 10 has been brought to you commercial-free by UK Federal Credit Union. Visit any of their six locations to discover why it's banking only better. So you can handle our streamlined banking system, Mr. Call me Ebenezer. Okay, well, maybe we'll start you as a member service rep. And they must come to me and beg for their money. No. Uh, they have access to online and mobile banking and uh, instant issue debit cards. Then we get to stack the fees and let them spend too much. No, no, there are no monthly service charges. You're taking all the fun out of this. Happy holidays from UK Federal Credit Union. We do have a dress code. Humbug. Daily Mail, tonight at 11. January 1st, wake up to a morning newscast that stays local from 5 to 9. The Fox 56 Morning News. This portion of the 10 o'clock news is brought to you by P-Rats. Nobody beats P-Rats. Ashley Home Store's New Year's mattress sale is going on now. Save $400 off select Stearns and Foster mattresses or get 0% interest financing for six years. Plus, get up to $300 Ashley cash on qualifying mattress purchases. Only at Ashley Home Store. As health professionals, we're on your side. We do everything we can to keep your kids happy and healthy so they can do great things. We encourage you to immunize your kids up to age 18 because the facts are clear. Childhood immunizations are a safe and simple way to prevent illness. Sé el héroe que tus hijos necesitan hoy para que ellos sean héroes mañana. Ask your child's health care provider about the benefits of childhood immunization. Preston Greens is redefining what it means to thrive in your retirement years. Come and visit our gorgeous, high-end senior living community in Lexington, Kentucky, or simply go to our website and let us take you on a virtual tour. Preston Greens provides care personalized to your needs. Our memory support program is specifically designed to address the needs of residents with Alzheimer's and dementia. At Preston Greens, we offer amenities including an on-site dog park, golf putting green, as well as a hair and nail salon. Discover Lexington's newest luxury personal and memory care community. Discover Preston Greens. Today at Lexington Overstock Warehouse, we're opening our doors for our big New Year's sale. Grab new in-stock home furnishings at Warehouse Direct Low Pricing. Plus, get interest-free financing for 12 months. We're open today, so go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com now for more details. Don't get stuck in the holiday rut. Get the gift you really want at Cronin Hyundai. New 2022 Hyundai Palisades are only $3.99 per month. Backed by America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty with Hyundai Assurance and three years, 36,000 miles complimentary maintenance. Only at Cronin Hyundai. Let Renfro's help you with the collision repair process. They have the training and equipment to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Your family safety is our number one concern. Renfro's Collision, 22 years of excellent service, and that's not by accident. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's New Year's one-day sale. Saturday only. Save 25% off store-wide with no minimum purchase. Or get 0% interest financing for five years with no minimum purchase and no down payment. Saturday only at Ashley Home Store.
Hollywood is mourning the loss of the iconic Betty White, who passed away just weeks short of her 100th birthday. Tonight, many are remembering her incredible career, her humor, and her kindness. Fox's Ashley Dvorkin has a look back. I got a call from uh, Lois Nyland. Oh, that's Rose Nyland. Rose, as in a series of seats in a movie theater. <laughs> Betty White was a golden girl in so many ways. The acting legend graced the screen for decades, creating iconic characters, had a career resurgence later in life, and displayed a sense of humor which brought a consistent reminder of why she's considered a national treasure. All sentiments expressed by those who knew her as they learned about her passing. Ryan Reynolds, who co-starred with White in The Proposal, tweeted, The world looks different now. She was great at defying expectation. She managed to grow very old and somehow not old enough. We'll miss you, Betty. Now you know the secret. The two had even recently exchanged funny comments after White joked in her People magazine cover story that Reynolds needs to get over his crush on her. Hot in Cleveland co-star Valerie Bertinelli also writing, Rest in peace, sweet Betty. My God, how bright heaven must be right now. Deborah Messing called her playful and daring and smart, adding a national treasure indeed, fly with the angels. Viola Davis said, man, did I think you would live forever. You blew a huge hole in this world that will inspire generations. Henry Winkler expressed, it is very hard to absorb you are not here anymore, but the memories of your delight are. Thank you for your humor, your warmth, and your activism. And Seth Meyers shared how White was the only SNL host he ever saw get a standing ovation at the after party, a party at which she ordered a vodka and a hot dog and stayed till the bitter end. Stories and memories pour in as Betty White's legacy, full of laughter and heart, continues to be remembered. In Hollywood, Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News. A lot of people are very sad. I've told you before, my wife's a big yes. fan. Her phone started blowing up this yeah. afternoon with all of her friends. I was one of the phone sure calls, okay. making sure yeah. that you guys knew. It's just, it doesn't matter which decade you saw Betty White in. She always seemed to be in her prime. Yeah. Even at 99, she just seemed so full of life and that she had found that fountain of youth. You thought she'd live forever. So for surreal sure. that she's not with us anymore. Chris? It is a weather-worn day as we track the possibility of overnight strong and severe thunderstorms and then rounds of storms that can be strong or severe on New Year's Day. And we're gonna, uh, they're going to bring a flood threat to the region as well. Over the next 24 hours, folks, we got a lot of rain on the way and a lot of storm action. Getting in on some rain right now into downtown Lexington with a current temperature. Here you are on New Year's Eve, and we are 60 to 65 degrees across most of central and eastern Kentucky. And if you've been outside at any point over the past couple of hours, it almost feels humid. For December 31st, it's, it is humid. Flood watch is out for the entire region. That warm air, that humidity is a bad combination for this time of year when you throw in a big system that is working our way. So the flood watch goes through tomorrow night. No active warnings anywhere across Kentucky as of now. But the radar over the past two hours blowing up with the first cluster of some thunderstorms. Those storms around Frankfurt are beginning to grow. They're on the strong side. That is a healthy cell now between Versailles and Frankfurt. That is gearing up toward the Midway area, heading toward Georgetown. We'll watch that storm as it is going to put down a tremendous amount of rain, a lot of lightning with that. We'll see if it can get a little spin with it. It's had a little spin from time to time, nothing that is down to where uh, we are overly concerned, but we'll keep an eye on it. Back to the southwest of the Louisville metro toward East. Uh, East Town, Shepherdsville, Bullock County, back into Meade County, the Brandenburg area. Those thunderstorms are rolling right on top of central and eastern Kentucky. So the threat for the remainder of this evening, at least for the severe threat, is a marginal threat across central and eastern Kentucky. A little better chance of that back near Bowling Green. New Year's Day, different story. Southern Kentucky starting tomorrow morning, late tonight, tomorrow morning, there is an increased chance for not only severe thunderstorms, but a few tornadoes. There's some spin that will show up late tonight, early tomorrow morning across the southern half of the state that can spit out a couple of tornadoes. We'll see how far north that can get. But I'm very concerned about the flood threat. Over the next 24 hours, this is what one of the models is spitting out, two to four inches of rain. Now, computer models and rainfall totals don't go hand in hand, and especially when they're talking about thunderstorms. Thunderstorms can put down a quick two or three inches of rain in an hour or so. So this is a general rainfall forecast that goes through your New Year's Day 
And then by the time we get into January 2nd, your Sunday afternoon, we're talking about the possibility of a little bit of some light snow. And it may be more centered across the southern and southeastern part of the state. So your seven-day forecast starts things out with the 60s tomorrow. We drop it quickly. We may be in the 40s on Sunday morning, but by Sunday afternoon, the 30s are taking over with some flakes around. A little break in the action by the time you get into Tuesday, Wednesday. By Thursday, it is another system that can bring rain to snow and Arctic cold temperatures behind it. But guys, through tonight and tomorrow, we've got to keep a very close eye out for not only the severe threat, but the possibility of flooding as well. Stay weather aware. Chris, thank you. On a much lighter note, next in the spotlight, this is a forecast no one saw coming. We'll take you to Texas where some folks found fish mixed in with their rain. The new year is a great time to refresh your home's look at the Burke Furniture New Year's Sale with huge savings throughout our 65,000 square foot showroom plus 0% financing too. The Burke Furniture New Year's Sale going on now. Quality pre-owned vehicles are hard to come by, so make the short drive to Auto Connection in Junction City. Auto Connection is a Carfax authorized dealer now featuring a state-of-the-art service center. No one can beat our selection, pricing, or financing options. Just south of Danville, visit Auto Connection in Junction City. Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile. Now, new and existing customers can get a free Samsung Galaxy tablet and enjoy high-speed data for just 15 bucks a month. That's the lowest price on Unlimited for tablets, all with the power of the T-Mobile network. Metro is giving you and your family more chances to stream, more ways to connect, and more reasons to celebrate with a free Samsung Galaxy tablet. Get more for the holidays, only at Metro. I love Central Kentucky, and I love raising my family here. You know when you're my patient, you are family. As a dad with a busy life, I know how important your time is, and I've designed my practice with that in mind. Routine cleanings, Invisalign, cosmetics, implants, even root canals. We do it all under one roof to save you time. It's important for me to get to know my patients, to make them feel comfortable, and to take the time to do things right. It's time for you to be comfortable going to the dentist. Come see me. Thank you, honey. And thank you, kids. And thank you, me. And here are your keys. Now, during Toyotathon, get $500 TFS APR cash on any new 22 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. And you'll get two years no-cost maintenance included. It all ends January 3rd. Toyota, let's go places. Some clients say they're not the type of person who sues, but many of our cases are settled without having to sue anyone. In almost all of our car crash cases, insurance companies are responsible for paying the claim, not the person who hit you. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. The Burke Furniture New Year's Sale. All the best brands at the best prices. Sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedrooms, and dining rooms. And it's all on sale. And don't forget your mattress. The Burke Furniture New Year's Sale. Going on now. Welcome back. In the spotlight tonight, it rained fish for a few minutes in Texarkana, Texas, Wednesday as storms moved through the area. It happened around 4.30 in the afternoon, according to an employee of Ormax. That's a used car dealership in eastern Texas. He says he and his co-worker heard loud noises and looked outside only to see fish falling from the sky. There was a loud crack of thunder, and we opened up the bay door, and I looked outside, and it, uh, it was raining real hard, and a, a, a fish hit the ground. And I said, it's raining fish. And Brad was like, no, it's not. And I was like, no, it really is. And fish were dropping here and everywhere. <laughs> so small fish could be seen sprinkled throughout the parking lot of the dealership. Some were four to five inches long and appeared to be young white bass. Raining fish is believed to be the result of a rare meteorological phenomenon in which a water spout moving over water sucks up those small creatures, such as fish and frogs, carries them along until they lose steam and then drop their stunned passengers <laughs> wherever it may be. That'd be very weird. Chris Bailey has never predicted no, that around here. No raining fish. <laughs> he said cats and dogs 
Ceremony is almost over. It's been a, yeah, <laughs> wild, wild year, maybe. Well, it's a sneak peek of the real-life winter wonderland, the Utah Ice Castles in Midway. Visiting the magical ice castles is a yearly tradition that many Utahans hold close to their hearts. Lead artist and founder Brent Christensen gave a tour of how the solid ice structures are created by hand to make the classic archways and ice slides that many kids and adults love to play in. These things are built layer by layer, and, and what we're going to do right now is add another layer to this. And uh, the way it works is we use icicles. So these frail little icicles that I'm holding right here right. eventually become big, big, strong. The ice castle is expected to open in late January and remain open until March. I'm not a big fan of the cold, so I'll just yeah. watch it through the TV and marvel at how pretty there it you is. Go. Super cool, no <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> well, this weekend is a big one for us at Fox 56. It was 27 years ago that WDKY first launched in Lexington, and guess who was here even way back then? I was a teenager. <laughs> The General Assembly will also appoint committee members. Lawmakers will have 10 days to get this done. Well, the new year means new problems for Kentucky's share of the federal budget. Mm -hmm. The Republican Congress. The bulk rate for mass mailers jumps from 19.8 cents per letter to 22.6 cents. I was still in Look high school, Marvin. <laughs> I was in high school. He was the first anchor. Right, yeah. right. I wasn't a baby. Um, for Fox 56, alongside Melanie Glasscock. And for all this time, we have operated as a news share partner with WKYT. That's a good memory there. Now, after nearly three decades and an ownership change, Fox 56 will have a new home at our studios on Euclid Avenue. New team, new graphics, new set. Exciting changes that you'll see beginning tomorrow at 10 p.m. You two have found the fountain of youth. I think you and Betty White I don't <laughs> share know. that. Yeah. No, no. Secret. We'll talk a little Goodness. more about our, our relationship with KYT a little bit later. All right. So. People in Carlisle are keeping an eye on the weather. They're still working to rebuild from disastrous flooding earlier this year. Coming up, what concerns people have there? Hi, I'm Amy Boone. I'm Macy Michael. As we're celebrating the holiday season, I can't think of any greater gift to give yourself and your family than the gift of home ownership. Whether you're upsizing, downsizing, or it's your first time buying, there are lots of programs available and we would love to help you every step of the way. Happy holidays from Sweet Home Kentucky Realty. The New Year's Day sale at P-Rats is here with deals and doorbusters to make you cheer. Up to seven years low interest financing for you. Up to $1,500 in free furniture too. With prices so low, you have to visit us and shop to see all the home furnishings that we have in stock. Doorbuster Ashley Reclining Sofa, $5.99. LG 4.5 cubic foot top load washer, $6.49. Frigid Air Top Mount Fridge, $5.79. Because nobody beats P-Rats. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series, America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Get more at your local Ford store and get a Ford F-150 with 0 for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash. Plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. As health professionals... We're on your side. We do everything we can to keep your kids happy and healthy so they can do great things. We encourage you to immunize your kids up to age 18 because the facts are clear. Childhood immunizations are a safe and simple way to prevent illness. Sé el héroe que tus hijos necesitan hoy para que ellos sean héroes mañana. Ask your child's health care provider about the benefits of childhood immunization. Preston Greens is redefining what it means to thrive in your retirement years. Come and visit our gorgeous, high-end senior living community in Lexington, Kentucky, or simply go to our website and let us take you on a virtual tour. Preston Greens provides care personalized to your needs. Our memory support program is specifically designed to address the needs of residents with Alzheimer's and dementia. At Preston Greens, we offer amenities including an on-site dog park, golf putting green, as well as a hair and nail salon. Discover Lexington's newest luxury personal and memory care community. Discover Preston Greens. Today at Lexington Overstock Warehouse, we're opening our doors for our big New Year's sale. Grab new in-stock home furnishings at Warehouse Direct Low Pricing. Plus, get interest-free financing for 12 months. We're open today, so go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com now for more details. 
You're watching the Fox 56 10 o'clock news with Marvin Bartlett, Kristen Flom, Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and Lee K. Howard on sports. Nicholas County emergency management teams are keeping a close eye on the potential for flooding this weekend, especially in Carlisle, where the city is still recovering from a devastating flood back in July. Grayson Passmore tells us how some business owners are doing months later and why they're always cautious ahead of any heavy rain now. Let me, that one just makes me look at that. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of inventory just destroyed. This was the basement. I don't know if you can see that. They set up a place out of town and uh, dumped all of this, piles of it. Garrett's furniture sits in the heart of downtown Carlisle. On July 30th, Gladys Shrout had to make a heartbreaking call to her boss. And all of his basements were flooded. They were all full of furniture. Business owners were starting to make a comeback after their losses from COVID, then the unimaginable. I was standing there and it was like a big uh, wave came up in the air and came down. And as it came down, it rushed across our main highway and I could see it flooding into the home that was across the street from me. Trout lives a mile from the furniture store, right next to the creek that eventually flooded her workplace and her neighbor's houses. It was not a creek anymore. It was, it was a river. It was a river that was forceful and it destroyed many things. It may have been five months from what is now going down as one of the worst floods in the city's history. They are recovering, but it has been very slow. Those that live in Carlisle say they'll always be concerned with any potential heavy rain or flooding but they don't think they will ever go through what they did this summer. In Carlisle, Grayson Passmore, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Shrout says the city helped lower the creek level behind the store, making them feel a little better. Many people we spoke to today said the biggest issue is that the town still doesn't have a grocery store. The Save-A-Lot was flooded and has been closed since July. This is a reminder that the deadline to file for low interest loans is January 3rd for families in Nicholas County. The loans are through the Small Business Administration. Applications for economic injury must be returned by August 3rd of 2022. The state says 88 houses and 29 businesses were, were affected, as well as the city's wastewater treatment plant, fire station, and city garage. The estimated damage, nearly $4 million. The Kentucky General Assembly gavels into session on Tuesday. It'll be a busy and historic session for Kentucky lawmakers. It comes as the COVID-19 pandemic shows no signs of stopping and the state continues to deal with the aftermath of deadly tornadoes. Legislators will have to approve a new legislative and congressional districts. They'll also have to pass a two-year state budget. Other issues that could come up include calls for more abortion restrictions and raises for teachers, state police, and other public employees. Police are investigating another threat made against a Kentucky school. Deputies say a threat was made to one of the schools in the Knox County public school system. School officials and deputies say they are aware of the threat. They're asking the public to stop sharing the image causing the community to panic. The incident is still being investigated by the police. Deputies ask if you know anything about the threat to give them a call. This weekend, artists and music fans are coming together to support tornado survivors. The borough in the distillery district is hosting two nights of song. Sunday night, John Prine's music will be spotlighted. He has family in western Kentucky. And as Shelby Lofton tells us, the people behind this concert have connections to the cause as well. Exactly three weeks ago, western Kentucky was rocked by tornadoes. It was just very gut-wrenching. Austin Shuck is the director of a nonprofit dedicated to helping out fellow Kentuckians. He knew he needed to step up for the western part of the state. People don't understand until you've been in that situation. We heard that West Liberty was gone. When we got here, we realized that was not an understatement. It'll take your soul, essentially. Nearly 10 years ago, he had the same view many of the recent tornado survivors do. It's the most horrible thing that you'll ever experience, not having anything. He knows firsthand how long it takes to rebuild. Shuck says he hopes partnering with the Burl for a series of concerts keeps the progress going. It's going to be the best show the Burl's ever had. Uh, it's going to be kind of an acoustic setting. Artists from the Commonwealth and elsewhere. Nicholas Jamerson's helping, Cole Chaney's helping, Leah Blevins. 
are lending their voices and celebrity for those that have been stripped of everything. We've been there and we want to be there for people. All proceeds go to the Muhlenberg County Tornado Relief Fund. In Lexington, Shelby Lofton, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Going into the new year, thousands of flights have already been canceled due to COVID and weather concerns. And coronavirus has put an end to some New Year's Eve countdowns before they even started. That's ahead in News Notes. And later, some simple tips to start the year on firm financial footing. This is Dale Golden of Golden Law Office. I have trained insurance adjusters on the evaluation of claims and handled complex litigation for the nation's largest insurance companies. I have successfully defended bad faith claims and have pursued bad faith claims on behalf of those treated unfairly by the insurance companies. I also obtained the largest bad faith verdict rendered by a Kentucky jury. When you ask me to represent you after an automobile or trucking collision, all that experience is used in the handling of your case. Hire Golden Law Office today. I'm Joseph Back with iBuyKY.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, iBuyKY.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to iBuyKY.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to iBuyKY.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's iBuyKY.com. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. Let's go, I can't wait. This is my kind of holiday. Shop local. Shop Lucky's Auto Sports. Defining rides since 1999. Looking for the best car and truck accessories? you got to get Lucky's. Bed covers, step bars, bumpers. Lucky's Auto Sports is Lexington's largest 3M window tinting facility. We're talking lifetime warranty. Lexington's custom wheel and tire headquarters is Lucky's. Lucky's Auto Sports is your Jeep and truck suspension lift headquarters. 0% same as cash financing available. Visit Lucky's Auto Sports new state-of-the-art showroom or luckysautosports.com. Flight disruptions are expected to continue into the new year. That tops tonight's Fox 56 News Notes. Between the coronavirus and weather concerns, hundreds of flights have already been called off. JetBlue recently announcing cutting more than 1,000 flights from the end of December into mid-January with the potential to cancel more. Other airline companies such as United and Alaska are having similar problems. United released an apology for this disruption. We are just a few hours away from 2022, and COVID-19 has put a stop to some New Year's Eve countdowns before they even start. Celebrations across the country have been canceled or adjusted in the wake of Omicron's surge. New York City's Times Square event is getting the green light, but it is scaled back with roughly four times fewer people allowed to gather. All of them must be vaccinated and masked. Thousands of people were forced to flee their homes because of wildfires in Colorado. Hundreds of homes and businesses are believed to be destroyed. Colorado Governor Jared Polis flew over the affected areas today to assess the damage. He says so far, despite the destruction, there are no reports of deaths and says if that report holds, it would be a New Year's miracle. Coming up in sports, the Wildcats could be without one of their defensive starters tomorrow in the Citrus Bowl. Plus, Kentucky basketball honors Tubby Smith. Lee Kay has highlights in the Fox 56 Sports Extra. The new year is a great time to refresh your home's look at the Burke Furniture New Year Sale with huge savings throughout our 65,000 square foot showroom plus 0% financing too. The Burke Furniture New Year Sale going on now. The value of nurses and midwives in our community cannot be overstated. We appreciate their devotion, their courage, and their compassion. They're our front lines. They're our protectors. 
At Frontier Nursing University, we're proud to call Kentucky home. We're proud of the care our students and alumni offer. We're proud to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners so that they can serve our communities. For more information, visit Frontier.edu. We want to invite you to come and enjoy some great food and great times with us at Reno's Roadhouse. Come enjoy our signature honey butter rolls, dine on our incredible steak, chicken, or rib entrees, and treat yourself to a delicious dessert before you leave. We also have $7 lunch specials. We guarantee to provide you with great food, great prices, and even better service. Now you can even enjoy Reno's on the road. Visit us at one of our locations in Moorhead, Somerset, or Wise, Virginia. Great food, great times. Go Reno's. AMR Lexington would like to thank our volunteers who made clinical research possible. You're the reason we're able to bring new, safe, and effective medicines, devices, and treatments to those around us. If you've yet to experience how rewarding clinical research is, please contact us at 859-264-8999 or visit amrlexington.com. And to your family from ours, happy holidays. Thank you for your support of clinical research. See if your luck is on a roll with these new scratch-off games from the Kentucky Lottery worth more than $119 million in total cash prizes. Now at your nearest Kentucky Lottery retailer. Funding more than $4 billion in grants and scholarships. This isn't just any sale, it's the Big Blue Nation's giant year-end event at your True Blue dealer, Paul Miller Ford. Get our biggest offers of the year and save thousands on your new Ford with 0% APR financing and free maintenance with Ford Pass Rewards. Plus, get the full value for your trade and up to an extra $2,000 over book value on top of that. That's like free money. And get this, $100 off your new Ford with every Toys for Tots donation up to $500. At Paul Miller Ford, your True Blue dealer. The Burt Furniture New Year's Sale. All the best brands at the best prices. Sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedrooms, and dining rooms. And it's all on sale. And don't forget your mattress. The Burt Furniture New Year's Sale. Going on now. Big Bang. Weeknights at 730. Hi, everybody. Some booming thunderstorms already flaring up across parts of the Lexington metro north side of town right now with a pretty good thunderstorm that's actually on top of the Scott Fayette County line that is rolling its way to the east. It's got a lot of storms back to the west of it, ready to move over the same areas. And because of the potential that these storms do, uh, kind of set up in a train where they just continue to pound some of the same areas over and over with torrential rain. Flooding is a possibility tonight into New Year's Day. That's why the just about the entire state outside of Boone, Kent, and Campbell in northern Kentucky is under that flood watch. No active warnings anywhere across central and eastern Kentucky. That is likely to change later tonight and into tomorrow, and it may stay very, very active. Skycam, we're looking on the northern sky right now from the station here, and we're trying to find a little thunder or a little bit of lightning that has been showing up on this cam. Again, this is near the Scott and Fayette County line. It's a small thunderstorm, but it is zipping its way through there very quickly, likely producing some gusty winds and maybe a little pea-sized hail. This thunderstorm is actually now developing into a bit of a line that goes from Fleming County through Carlisle and then right on top of uh, Bourbon County, north side of Lexington. And this is where the storm has actually had just a little bit of rotation with it, but it's been up in the clouds. It's not right at the base of the clouds. It's been a little up in the cloud cover, but nonetheless, we'll keep a very close eye on that. That is across the Master Sensation area, Kentucky Horse Park, and that gets into uh, right on top of the Georgetown area. So some thunder and lightning with that, heavy rain, and notice how that is extending back to the west, meeting up with some thunderstorms coming out of Meade County into Hardin County, Bullock County, Southern Jefferson County, over into Nelson County. And this would be just the first round of what may be five or six waves of some pretty good storms that continue to make their way from southwest to northeast. Additional development to the north of Nashville. Storm Prediction Center is watching this area this evening. It's a marginal risk, but they just put out a, a, a meso discussion, a mesoscale short-term discussion. They're essentially saying parts of southern Kentucky, the southern half of the region down into Tennessee, we may have a severe thunderstorm or tornado watch issued 
here over the next couple of hours. So middle of the night, wee hours tomorrow morning, that is our first chance for true severe thunderstorms across the southern half of the state. And then again tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. And we may end this holiday weekend with the opportunity for a little snow on Sunday. But keep a very close eye on the weather tonight through New Year's Day. Sports Extra. Tomorrow afternoon, Kentucky will play for a program best fourth straight bowl win when the Wildcats face Iowa in the Citrus Bowl. Brian Milam continues our coverage from Orlando. Here we are just hours away from kickoff in the Verbo Citrus Bowl, Kentucky and Iowa. On Friday, Mark Stoops gave us the word about Josh Paschal. It was something we sort of expected, but the coach said himself, does not look like Paschal will play against the Hawkeyes. He re-aggravated an injury and made it worse, actually, in the Louisville game. And then he... Uh, he had some other health issues that he couldn't travel with us. He just got down here a couple days ago, and uh, uh, to be honest with you, I think it's uh, highly questionable for him to play. Kentucky and Iowa, they both have won three bowl games in a row, but neither school has ever won a fourth straight bowl game. We talked to the Cats earlier this week, and they want to go out a winner. It would mean a lot, especially with this team, and just this might be in my last game. It's just going to be very emotional. You know, it's you're never going to uh, get this team back again. Man, it's going to be mean everything to me. Uh, it's going to be my fourth ring. So I'm really trying to get that and just leave here on my legacy and just show everybody, you know, what I came here to do. I mentioned the bowl streak, which is on the line. Neither school has ever won four bowl games in a row, but both Kentucky and Iowa have the nation's longest non-conference winning streak at 16 games. They share that. Well, something's got to give on Saturday. In Orlando, I'm Brian Milan for the Fox 56 Sports Extra. All right, thank you, Brian. Kentucky basketball fans arriving very early for today's noon tip-off against High Point. You could argue that the pregame was more important than the game itself. Former U.K. head coach Tubby Smith honored prior to tip with his name going up into the Raptors. He's up in the Tubby, of course, three times coach of the year, national champion in 98. As for the game, well, it was all Wildcats. Ty Ty Washington lets it fly from High Street. 15 points, nine assists for the freshman. Kentucky finished the first half on a 17-3 run. Speaking of running, though, look at the big fella. Oscar Shibway run the floor for the finish. The Big O finished with 15-8 and eight today. But Kellen Grady was bidding farewell to 2021 with a bang. First from the left wing, and then Grady off the bounce. He could not miss. Next trip down the floor. How about another one? Grady was 7 of 10 from deep for 23 points, and on a day when Kentucky honored Tubby Smith, the Cats run away with a 92-48 to win. Alex Walker has more from Rupp. Next to the legendary names of Rupp, Hall, and Patino, Tubby Smith, now the fourth head coach to have his name in the rafters of Rupp Arena. With friends, family, and former players by his side, Tubby receiving a well-deserved standing ovation. Tubby spent 10 seasons as the head coach at Kentucky, leading the Wildcats to the 1998 National Championship. Today's trip to Rupp Arena, his first since he left, and he felt the love from the Big Blue Nation. We're really honored and pleased by the reception and having a banner raised in Rupp Arena. I couldn't be more happy. Um, certainly, I was happy to have my family here with me to, to witness this moment. In time, that's why it's such a thrill, it's such an honor to be a part of the legacy of, of Kentucky. As for today's game, Kentucky winning by 44. Kellen Grady with 23 points and seven threes. And I have to say this just to make everyone at home feel old. Kellen Grady is the only active Kentucky player that was born when Tubby Smith won that national championship back in 1998. Kellen at the time six months old. How about that? At Rupp Arena, Alex Walker. All right. Very <laughs> deserving honor, though, for Tubby. Kind of yeah. cool to see him come back and be appreciated so much. Yeah, yeah. despite the, the beating. He, could <laughs> definitely really, he really enjoyed the day. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. He Good. did. Stay with us for five things to know before you go to bed. Including a sign of hope in the rubble. What a police officer found to lift his spirits after a devastating fire. Young Sheldon, weeknights at 7.
delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Hey, got a great deal at Toyotathon. Got a great deal at Toyotathon. You too. Got a great deal at Toyotathon. Yeah. Got a great deal. Okay. It's the final days of Toyotathon. Yes. Time for you to get a great deal. With your choice of 15 all-wheel drive Toyotas, get a great deal on the legendary 4Runner or the number one selling Tacoma with the best resale value. Plus two years no-cost maintenance. It all ends January 3rd. Toyota, let's go places. Get your holiday shopping done with Members Heritage Credit Union. Every dollar you spend with your Members Heritage Credit Card will triple the scorecard reward points you can redeem for different prices. Apply for one today to start earning. Go to mhcu.org for more details. Daily Mail, tonight at 11. January 1st, instead of national news, come home to local at 6.30. Fox 56 News at 6.30. It's Sleep Outfitters Ultimate Winter Sale. Get a free Sealy Twin, full or even queen size mattress or MasterCard Rewards card with any premium mattress purchase. With zero interest, Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and Foster mattresses start at just $25 a month. Now at Sleep Outfitters. For psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Even walking was tough. I had to do something. I started Cosentix. Cosentix can help you move, look, and feel better by treating the multiple symptoms of psoriatic arthritis. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Watch me. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile with the big 5G upgrade. Now choose from the largest selection of free 5G phones like the Samsung Galaxy 5G and one line of unlimited 5G for just 25 bucks. Get more for the holidays only at Metro. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. This portion of the 10 o'clock news is brought to you by the Don Franklin family of dealerships. Saving money, a designer egg, and hope in the rubble. Here are five things to know before you go to bed. After you're done ringing in the new year, here are some tips to help you keep any financial resolutions you may have. One, start out January with a 21-day freeze on major spending. Two, set aside money and savings, but know why and be specific on dollar amounts. And three, monitor any spending that's greater than $100. There will be one less Toretto in the Fast and Furious saga, as Dwayne Johnson confirms he will not be returning to the franchise. The star said in a recent interview that he was surprised by his co-star Vin Diesel's social media post asking him to come back. Johnson says he thought he and Vin Diesel had an understanding he wouldn't be returning. An emblematic egg inspired by the Game of Thrones cost more than $2 million. The one-of-a-kind egg was designed by jeweler Fabergé. The unique design was meant to tell the tale of Daenerys and would have been presented to her if she held the throne. Thrones fans will be able to catch a glimpse of the egg when it tours the nation next year, just in time for HBO's prequel series House of the Dragon. Indianapolis police officer Michael Price says he was at a Pacers game two days before Christmas when he got a call that his house was on fire. He says they lost everything in the fire, including the family dog. As the officer was going through the rubble, he opened the nightstand and found a sign of hope, a Bible that's been in the family for decades untouched by the fire. Officer Price says there's not a single mark on any page. As 2021 comes to an end, what better way to celebrate than with savings and delicious donuts? Krispy Kreme is offering two original glazed dozen packs for 12 bucks. The offer will be available until January 2nd, a sweet way to end the year. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed. Rachel Ray, weekdays at nine. Keep the cold out this winter with energy-efficient window treatments from The Blinds Man. Hi, I'm 
Amy Boone. I'm Macy Michael. As we're celebrating the holiday season, I can't think of any greater gift to give yourself and your family than the gift of home ownership. Whether you're upsizing, downsizing, or it's your first time buying, there are lots of programs available and we would love to help you every step of the way. Happy holidays from Sweet Home Kentucky Realty. I was brought here to Isaiah House, and I have to honestly say that it has really saved my life. You know, the fundamentals of Isaiah House are faith, hope, and love. But when it comes to peer support, those are the guys who leave no brothers behind. Isaiah House has helped me uh, learn to apply the skills in everyday life. I get me a job and stuff. The way that this place is set up, everyone has each other's back. Nothing and no one offers the love that uh, I have felt at Isaiah House. Isaiah House, real hope for addiction. At Furniture World Superstore, we're celebrating the new year with incredible savings on beautiful living room furniture, dining sets, bedrooms, and mattresses. Make a fresh start and add style to every room of your home for less, plus no interest for up to 24 months. At Furniture World Superstore in Lexington, Richmond, Georgetown, Mount Sterling, Danville, Moorhead, and Somerset. Don't get stuck in the holiday rut. Get the gift you really want at Cronin Hyundai. New 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe's are just $319 a month with zero due at signing and no first month's payment. Backed by America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty and Hyundai Assurance. Only at Cronin Hyundai. If you have a news tip, call our hotline at 859-299-8630. Well, the gang's all together one last time, they, <laughs> and they're going to celebrate here just okay. a little bit. I'm gonna, yeah. Like, you ready for You ready? Okay. Go ahead. Right. Take it away. Ready? Well, here we go. That. You tell it us is, about the weather. It is almost midnight. <laughs> we, <laughs> you, we may or may not see it. I don't, <laughs> Start the weather, Chris. I can't imagine this ends well. I have not seen this. Before. Oh, oh, there we go. There it goes. Go. You know, yeah. Nice distance. One, one less. That was yeah, one, it, remember. it was a pretty good distance. All right. At radar picture. We're dealing with some storms. These uh, have been a little strong. Nothing that is severe as of right now. So that is certainly some good news. We're going to watch those storms, though. That will continue to make their way across the region as we go into the overnight. Severe weather potential overnight and through your New Year's Day. We're on guard for that as well. But in the next hour or two, nothing is imminent across the region. All right. We want to have a toast here tonight to all of our friends at WKY2. You've told you this relationship is ending after 27 years, yep. but it's been a good one. We want you to know that we are so grateful. We've enjoyed working it's with been a pleasure. you and yeah. Lee Kay and so many hundreds of people. Bill Bryant's off there oh, in the, yeah. in the yeah. wings. And he, he did our morning show for so long, and so we're really appreciative. And, people, uh, people would always ask me, how the heck do you get from Chevy Chase to Winchester Road in five <laughs> minutes between shows yeah. 10 and 11? Secrets. <laughs> yeah. It's been a good partnership. We we just all are expanding. I guess we have growing pains. You do. But yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, you, know, you guys are friends that we're going to miss working. Yeah, so many friends of this building, and it has been a pleasure working with all of you. So we'll toast to that on there this New Year's Eve. Thank you for <laughs> watching. Cheers. Thank you to you guys. Be safe. Happy New Year. Daily Mail, tonight at 11. January 1st, wake up to a morning newscast that stays local from 5 to 9. The Fox 56 Morning News.